Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video, this is it. Lucky Larry's car is finished. Uh, so I told you last week we would have a final video this week and sure enough, this is it. So the only real thing I have to do for Larry's car now is make him a trunk liner inside his trunk. And these 55 and earlier Beetles, you really can't get trunk liners uh, from you know one of the popular sources like Sip One or Wolfsburg West or J-Bugs or something. Um, there are guys on the Samba that actually uh, make these and uh, they're three-piece uh, trunk liners. And uh, to be quite frank, um, sorry, I don't want to spend over $200 for cardboard. So uh, um, I'm an artist myself, so I go to the arts and crafts store, I buy the cold pressed black board, make it myself, cut it to size, and we put it in. It looks real nice, so, and it's a fraction of the price. Um, so that is basically it. I put all the gadgets on his dash, got his uh, fuel gauge in there, got his little washer pump in there. That little washer pump is killer. Uh, and these were rare for these cars, they were optional. And to have that little washer at the top, of the cowl on these earlier bugs is very very desirable and I see sometimes those little washer spouts go for uh, a couple hundred bucks just for that so um, that's very cool so the fuel problem that we ran into last week happened to be the fuel pump and now right off the bat people say oh why didn't you think of the fuel pump Chris well because I rebuilt it um, you know we got the rebuild kit and we, we put this thing together and we ran this motor on the bench and we didn't have a problem you know revving it up we didn't have any stall problems so I didn't think that it was the fuel fuel pump but over time we took the gas tank out we checked and inspected everything everything was spotless pretty much our fuel filters were spotless so the only thing I that was really left was the fuel pump and quite frankly what what might have happened was old junk that was in the gas tank might have went through the fuel system and then got stuck in the fuel pump uh, you know these earlier fuel pumps on these 36 horse you cannot buy them new uh, so you have to rebuild the old pump and this guy's online and do have services you know that that can rebuild those for you but we buy the rebuild kits and we rebuild them ourselves our, ourselves but you know the problem is again we're we're at the mercy of today's aftermarket products and it's just not as good as the German counterpart so um, but other than that I had a replacement pump threw it on the motor and voila no problems no hesitations no hiccups whatsoever so other than that, uh, that is it. This is, car is going to be a pleasure to take the shows this year. And uh, it was an honor to work on a car for my good friend, Lucky Larry. And uh, an old, old school Volkswagen guy that he is, uh, this is a great car for his, uh, his collection. So uh, let's go cruising. Uh, I'm going to jump in this car, take it for a ride, and see what it's all about with the ragtop back, man. So if you guys got any questions whatsoever, Chris at ClassicVWBugs.com or visit me on my website www.classicvwbugs.com Let's go for a ride.
problem doing the same. No problem. Thank <laughs> you.